Hey guys, Balkan Architect here. So as the world slowly prog progresses and as we slowly turn from AutoCAD and from 2D drafting to Revit and to 3D modeling and BIM softwares, you're always going to have situations where you need to remodel or basically build a model in Revit, a 3D model out of a Autodesk AutoCAD 2D drawing. So in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to do that most efficiently so you can keep this process as quick and as easy as possible. But before I get started I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial, it helps me out a lot and if you haven't already I suggest you subscribe because I make tutorials like this every day. Okay, so here I am in AutoCAD and this is where I'm going to be starting off with and here I've got just some drawings for a house I did a while back and this is something I did for school I think first year. So we've got some just a basic residential house and we only have the, the floor, the first floor plan or the the ground level and here we have the the first floor and here we have just a section so we can take out some of the the heights for all of the elevations for this. Okay, so how do you now transfer this into Revit? The first thing we need to do is we need to kind of uh, separate all of these files. So first let's take the first floor plan or the zero floor plan, the ground level, and I'm just going to type control C and then here I'm just going to start off a new project and type in control V and just place it over here. And now I'm just going to select this X, Y coordinate system over here, select this dot and place it in between these two grid lines or on the cross section of these two grid lines. So we kind of placed the, the beginning, the zero, zero, zero of the drawing here on the intersection of these two grid lines and let's just save this and I'm just going to save it at the desktop as let's just call it LVL for level zero. Okay, so once I've done that, I need to repeat that for the second for the second floor plan. So just go Control C, here go Control V, place it, zoom out, select this thing, select it here, place that here, go save. Let's just call this LVL1, save that, and let's do the same thing for the section. But the section we can't really place this or we don't have an intersection so what I'm just going to do is I'm going to go here control C create a new one control V and here I'm just going to attach this here where it's kinda at the ground level and at the first grid line okay so once I have done this again go save and let's save this as a section hit save okay so now it's time to go into Revit and let's start a new architectural project as this is a just a simple architectural project and when you open up Revit first thing I like to do is I like to set the units to the same units I have in AutoCAD so I'm just going to type in UN and here I'm just going to set this to centimeters as I was working in centimeters in, Rev in Revit or in, in AutoCAD earlier on so now let's import all of our all of our floor plans. So first let me go to level 1 where, which we're going to just rename into LVL1 or 0. Yeah, change that. Okay, so let's leave it to that. Go insert and you have here a link CAD and import CAD. Now the difference between these two is if you go with link CAD you can kinda go into your floor plan and change it in uh, in CAD and it will update in Revit and if you go to import you can't do that so I prefer using this link CAD option because you can kinda change it later on. Go to desktop use level 0 select it and before you go open first for colors you can either preserve them or turn to black and white because everything in Revit is usually black and white I'm just going to leave it at black and white for levels for layers and let's just leave it them all and for import units make sure to set them to whatever you have so that's centimeters and here for positioning I'm just going to leave it at origin to origin and place at this is just the level that I'm going to be placing it at so just leave it at that and for orient to view that means that this floor plan will be parallel to your uh, to, to your floor plan yeah and just go open and there we go so we've got it insert and when we select it we have this little 
pin and you can unpin it and move it around but I don't really suggest you do that so leave it pinned down because we need it to stay in the correct place where we where we placed it in AutoCAD because if I go here now to level 2 and let's just rename this to LVL1 or that's level one, first floor. Now go insert again, link CAD. Now select this, black and white, all centimeters, basically leave everything as is. Go open and here you go. Now the reason why we left that pinned in and why we changed the coordinate system to this position over here, if I just go to 3D for a second, you can see these are now exactly on top of each other. So if I zoom in over here, you can see these are exactly on top of each other so this makes it a lot easier to work with and to make everything even simpler or to, to work easier you can go here to architecture and go to grids or use just the shortcut GR for grids and just use the pick lines tool and then you can change this into grids so this will be one two three four and let's go here place the first one change the name so select it change this to a go apply OK and now go again grids GR and pick lines and here select this one and this one and now it will change the naming to ABC OK and once you have done this you can see the the drawing is black and if we turn this on or turn our thin lines off you can see this has some line weights now this can be kind of confusing when you start drawing some walls over here and then you don't know which lines are AutoCAD and which ones are Revit the way you can kinda make this a bit more simpler to to see that difference you can just go into VG or visibility graphics so you just type in VG and you go to imported categories and here you can just turn on half tone for all of them and go apply OK and as you can see now it's at half, at half tone so if I just go and draw a wall over here you can see the wall is significantly darker than this so that works and you can do the same thing here for this level so just VG go to imported and just hit all of these half tones go apply OK OK so now how do you load in the section so to do that let's create that exact section so let's just place a section over here because it's going through the staircase and let's extend this all the way out and let's get into the section Again, extend it upward a bit extend it here downward a bit and then we're going to be adding some more levels when we insert our section so let's just go here to insert and link CAD and let's select our section make sure to leave this all at as is go open and now as you can see our section is actually kind of leveled a bit above everything and we don't want that and it's in the wrong position so in order to fix this you just select it and you do need to unpin your section and then you use the align tool so just AL is the shortcut so you align to this grid line over here and to this level you align your ground level okay now we need to drop this level so we need to align it to this here so just go AL and align that and now we can type in LL for a level and let's place another level over here so kinda just place one over here and one over here for top okay and once we have that we can rename this one as level minus one go OK and this one will be level 2 or roof level and then you can align perhaps the roof level to this and the basement level to this and then we can just select this kinda move it out of the way and in order to see everything just go into VG or to see everything clearer and turn on half tone and go apply OK and if we go into 3D again now you can see this is all perfectly aligned even though it's not in the center it doesn't have to be you can you just need to make sure that you can see everything like this okay so you can see these are all these grid lines are aligned and that's the important part okay now when we go back into let's say level zero 
if we select one of these you see you have some options over here you have query and then that's you can kind of get some information about all of the lines and that's I didn't really find this quite practical but if we go here to delete layers perhaps we don't like the furniture arrangement in this drawing so we can actually remove the furniture level so just go delete layers and find furniture and go OK and now it removed all of the furniture and now we can kind of do our own design furniture design in Revit and if you can see this this is just the imported symbol so this is the the section that's imported and just pin it in place over here so you don't accidentally select it and move it out of the way okay so once you've done all of this now you can start actually drawing over your uh, your floor plan and Revit actually makes this quite easy so if you go here and use wall or you can use the WA shortcut here we have this is a I think it's a 30 centimeter wall let me check where is the measure tool there let's see this is three centimeters okay these are some columns or this is actually a wall with large windows so it's not columns and here we've got these these two are columns so if I just go here WA for wall and find this generic 300 I can actually just start off from here and just place this here this wall do the same thing here so start off from there you finish it here then you do this part over here and as you can see if I go in the middle it actually finds the center line of the wall so I can kinda do the whole wall and connect everything and let's connect this thing and now we can use split line perhaps split this and then just trim and extend everything in place so that's basically how you do all the walls and if you now you can see the position of the door perhaps so in order to do that you can either go here into wireframe or you can maybe go and select the wall and then go into VR or sorry VG or just select the let's let's go back into this hidden line and then you can select just the walls you want go here right click override graphics and view by element and then you can bring the transparency down and then you can kinda see your doors and windows underneath and then just you can select all of these walls or let's select the whole thing go into 3d let's see what this looks like yeah it's going way too high so we can select these two and maybe say that top constraint is level 2 so it kinda attaches them to level 2 plus let's say we want some offset like 120 centimeters go apply and now it kinda creates that offset so you can kinda work into in 3D and you can go between all of the floor plans and you can see everything that you're modeling so that's basically how you turn your basic 2D drafting drawing from AutoCAD into a 3D model in Revit and you get the point you just continue on from there okay so that's pretty much it for this tutorial thank you for watching please subscribe like and share this video and if you have any questions comments or suggestions for any future tutorials please leave them in the comment section below thank you for watching and have a nice day